Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Sunday, October 20th of 2013, and I just thought I would do a quick little video, just out of boredom, I guess. Um, with a few little updates on my Packard Bells. Um, now, um, before I begin, um, if you're wondering about my Christian channel, CoreBilly89, um, yes, I am working on it. I know I haven't made a video for it yet. Um, I just had a busy week last week, but hopefully this week I'll be able to come up with something. Um, I don't know what I'm going to talk about first, but we'll just see where it goes from there. But I digress. Um, I guess first we might as well start off with the crowning jewel of my Packard Bell collection, the good old Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT. Had it for about six months now, and um, I got it back in April. I don't remember the exact date, but um, after all this time, it's still running perfectly. It's um, still using the 2 gigabyte um, compact flash card as storage. Um, that's still working just fine. Thank you, UXW Bill, for your advice on getting it set up. Uh, what else? Um, the last time you saw this was a a few weeks ago, um, when I did that video of of this running in the dining room um, in its original home. Well, the original home of the original 822. This is not the original, but it's close enough. And had a lot of fun doing that. Um, I was able to get it back in here um, safe and sound. A uh, couple of additions. Um, changed the wallpaper. <laughs> I figured since I feel like I go back in time every time I use this computer, um, I figured the DeLorean time machine would be appropriate. <laughs> but um, software rise, um, everything is uh, roughly the same. I'm got a pretty full start menu, don't I? Um, even down to Microsoft Publisher '95. <laughs> you know, all kinds of goodies on there. Oh, what else? Um, the hardware rise. Um, you probably saw this um, in my last video of this running in the dining room. I got a couple of comments about it. Um, this microphone you're looking at here um, that I have plugged into, it, it's a Packard Bell microphone, but what makes this unique is that this is the only surviving piece of my original 822. Um, somehow, um, it it didn't get given away along with the computer and I've kept it all these 18 years and I figured that since I now have a another Legend 822 CDT it's I figured it would only be appropriate to plug it up to here. Um, it's still in pretty good shape. I'm a little bit yellowed I guess. I never really use it much. It's most it's plugged in and everything but I just use it for um oh I guess decoration and looks. <laughs> now, um, one thing I did do to this um, computer that I was a little reluctant to do, um, mainly because I like to keep this as original as possible, but um, I figured since I have it lying around, why not? Um, I bought this at a thrift store back in 2011 for just $2. That is a um, iOmega Zip 100 drive. Um, and it's the parallel port model. It's not the SCSI model, thank goodness. It's a lot simpler that way. And, um, in fact, I'll stick that disc in. Go to my computer. Yeah, um, it's mostly just um, utilities and files. But it, it does work. I just love the way it ejects. I, just, I'm a simple-minded man. What can I say? And um, one change I did make to it today, actually. Um, in fact, my good friend Jay Wakefield was in the call with me on Skype when I um, did this. Again, I was um, originally against the idea of doing this because it would take away from the originality. Because even though this this is a Packard Bell supported thing. Um, the Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT um, did not originally ship with this, 
and we did not have one. Um, we had the original one, but as you can see, I um, I hooked my good old flash, um, my good old um, fast media remote up to the Packard Bill, and it works just fine, just like a Packard Bill um, appliance should. I would show off the CD thing, but the CD player, I mean, but I um, really don't feel like doing that right now, especially since my battery is about to go kaput on my camera. I think my camera needs a new battery, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but, um, oh, what else? Um, actually, um, I do have a couple more things to talk about, so I'll be right back while I... Um, plug this up to um, AC power. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot due to the s lack of slack on the um, power cord for this camera, but um, not only, um, now I have um, two Packer Bills that I have in regular use right now. Um, I have all kinds of Packer Bills in my collection, but um, only this and another one are in regular use, mainly because um, I can't afford the room to run all of them at once. <laughs> but um, I have this KVM, um, the 822 KVM, with another um, old favorite Packard Bell of mine, the um, uh, Packard Bell Legend 402 CD, um, which I got back in, well, almost three years ago. <laughs> Hard to believe I got it back in. November of 2010, um, November 11th, 2010 to be exact, and this is pretty much my um, my main Windows 3.11 machine. Don't use this a whole lot actually, especially compared to the 822, but um, it's there for whenever I need to do anything Windows 3.1 X related. Um, that will go ahead and uh, switch um, inputs, and there's the um, Legend um, 402 CD in all its glory. Now, um, if, if you're wondering why um, Windows 3.1 looks all um, ritzy, <laughs> I guess you could say, this is um, a little um, appearance theme that my good friend Jay Wakefield devised for me. This is the Carolina Circle Mall theme for Windows 3.1 X. I can't make this stuff up, folks. <laughs> I think he also made one for Windows 98, I believe, and I've used it, and it's really nice. But yeah, um, it's not not changed much since the last time you saw it. Well, only 73% for system resources free. Um, that was a pretty good advantage of Windows 95 over 3.11. Um, a lot more um, system resource friendly. But yeah, um, I. I don't feel like showing much tonight, um, but I will um, give you a sneak peek of a of an upcoming video I've been meaning to do for the last oh good grief three years. <laughs> a little a little um, video um, all about this little program. Oh no! <laughs> but yeah, um, it's running just fine. I will um, switch it back to the 822, and um, this coming December, um, I have a little, um, I have a little treat planned for you guys. Um, let me uh, pull this up here. This is um, all my MIDI files I keep on here. Um, you can see I got quite a bit, all the way from the Eagles to the theme song from The Price is Right. <laughs> but um, here's the main ingredient. All of these are Christmas Carol middies. And with the assistance of my um, PC to TV encoder card, I am going to make a, a series of videos of most of these um, MIDI files playing on these, playing on the FM synthesis on the Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT, and I will have um, like different types of Christmas wallpaper in the background there, and um, hopefully it'll be kind of cool.
Um, and speaking of the PC to TV encoder card, I did a little bit of rewiring. Um, as you already know, um, thanks to the KVM switch, um, I can switch between the 822 and the 402 just as I want to please. Um, with the PC to TV encoder, um, it'll just switch um, accordingly. And well, um, I've been doing a lot of other stuff with my TV capture card on my computer. Um, not only have I been capturing footage from my um, Packard Bells, I've also been capturing footage from VHS tapes and um, from my cable box, which um, got kind of cumbersome when um, when um, changing around RCA cables um, every time I wanted to do that. So I figured what I would do, um, I took my um, good old um, Sony uh, SLV N50 um, VCR from 2001. I um, I hooked the um, input from the I hooked the output from the uh, come on focus. I hooked the output from the PC to TV encoder card into the um, rear um, input on the VCR. And then um, this right here is coming from the cable box, and it runs into the front input on the um, VCR, and um, and I can still um, capture footage from the VHS, obviously. <laughs> and it's a lot less cumbersome this way. Um, it's actually pretty good. Also, um, I even since my TV is still a little old enough to support this. Um, I um, it's from 2009. Um, I took a little um, coaxial cable, ran it from the VCR into the TV um, to to the channel three um, signal, and um, I can watch v VHS tapes in bed now. <laughs> Again, I'm a very simple-minded man. <laughs> But yeah, that's um, pretty much um, how we stand right now with the main Packard Bells. Um, I got my Legend 814 CD, um, the Legend 818 CDT, and the um, Platinum 2240 in my closet over there um, for the time being, uh, awaiting future projects. In fact, um, hopefully this week, depending on my schedule, um, don't get your hopes up, folks. <laughs> um, I might be making... Um, a little video involving the Platinum 2240, um, particularly the Media Select device, so um, it, which was requested by a good friend of mine. So we'll um, see how it goes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's my main Packard Bells as, as of late. Um, nothing really major to update you on, just a few little minor changes I made. Also, oh, I forgot to mention, um, seeing that this this computer um, pretty much defined um, my my life in kindergarten, um, 1995-1996. Um, stuck this picture back here behind the monitor. That's my um, kindergarten class um, in April of 1996. Um, I'm the one right there in the in the red sweater. Um, I believe that's Cat in the Hat. That's on my sweater. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, kind of a boring, but interesting to me um, update there <laughs> and anyway I will um, shut up now so I can get some sleep and so you can get some sleep this is Billy Core signing off on October the 20th of 2013 goodbye